What's up? What's up, everybody? Um, this is for your Frisco Melt Steak and Shake Copycat uh, Melt Burger, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's my take on the Frisco Melt. Of course, it originated in San Francisco, so they were using um, sourdough. I can lie to you right now and say that I'm using sourdough, uh, but this is what I bought at the store. This is Heiner's Old Fashioned. Um, you're going to want one piece of Swiss, one piece of American cheese for each patty melt. Um, and we'll get more into what actually Steak and Shake uses and what I'm using today. Um, they use, you would think they use butter like you would for a, a grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, but they do not. They use margarine. Uh, today I'm using parquet squeeze butter uh, a lot of people use this stuff on ribs uh, we'll get more into the meat that they use here in just a second um, tonight today I'm using a 85 lean 15% fat you guys see me use a lot of 80 20 ground chuck instead of ground beef and on previous videos you see me use 90 10 um, for more lean I bought one of these recently and it's pretty, pretty greasy. And so we'll be right back with the sauce because we got to get that right into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. We'll be right back. So I do have it all this bowl here. I did put a couple uh, dashes of that uh, steak and shake steak burger and fry seasoning. Just gonna get it all mixed up. And you notice, uh, if you ever look at their um, Frisco melt dressing, it is a little darker than a thousand island. So we'll put that in the refrigerator and we'll be right back. Let's talk ground beef, ground chuck, whatever you want to call it, um, from Steak and Shake. Now, these sandwiches, if you have a three ounce patty of meat, 80 20, usually it'll cook down 25%. So, weighed out after a cook, it'll be 2.5 ounces for each patty. Well, these are pretty lean, so these are probably about 2.8 ounces, and you want in a hockey puck form. Um, this is as close as I could, as I could get it. Uh, but they use three cuts of meat for their ground beef, and that is ground round, ground sirloin, and ground T-bone. I'm just doing this from home. I've gotta make do with what I got. I wanna fire up my griddle over here and we'll be back with some temperatures for that. I will say, normally uh, I'm going with my front burner on four, my back burner where I'm gonna put the burgers on six. Mine runs a little hot. The best thing that you can have to be authentic with your steak and shake is to have a heavy duty spatula and also uh, these tongs here and uh, you want to keep everything very close to you. Steak and Shake's flat top is around 375 for the burgers and 325 for their bread. And this is a melt. So, and you want to go about 15 to 20 seconds. We are flattening these out so we're going to give them a little bit of room. I did um, toast up one side of my, I know it's unconventional for the Frisco melt, but I want it to stand up to the dressing. I don't want it to be soggy at all. I've got my cheese near. I've already seasoned these with the Steak and Shake 
steak burger seasoning, and I've also had had my parquet squeeze butter in here as well. These are only going to go for about another minute or two on this side. Get my parquet squeeze butter going. That's I don't want it to get into there. Here, right there, like that. Again, this side turn on a little lower. Right away, we're going to go with one of our Swisses. And this should be a little hotter than here in the middle. So that one more defined than the other one. Here for another minute on that side. So we'll move this over. And sometimes we'll do this with the spatula. And we'll do that again when we put the American cheese down. Just building it already. Let me turn this side down quite a bit. It's already getting there. This one, I want to cook up a little bit more, a little faster. And we'll go in the American cheese. I do not want these to burn. Let's see here. Yeah, I've got it completely turned off. You can do this however you like. They do a generous amount. Of the dressing. That's probably more than enough. And they also put some on the other side as well. Let's see if I can't scoop some of this off there. There we go. Thank you.